Hey, good morning, everybody in YouTube land. Uh, this is Lewis from Project O. Uh, Andrew is still in bed. Um, we went to the movies last night, and uh, when I got home, I saw the hype, the 48-hour group build. Um, we were under the impression that it is next week, but it's actually this weekend. And uh, next weekend, Andrew's uh, really pushing to go to uh, uh, to North Carolina, uh, Charlotte um, model show. Uh, we were thinking about that. So if we do go, we weren't going to be able to to be in this build until last night. I said uh, got my dates mixed up. So um, um, as you guys can see, Saturday, July the eighth, with Ryder and Andrew. Um, I am filming um, this video in on Andrew's um, workbench. Uh, he's got uh, he's been working on this uh, '94 Mustang. Uh, got his engine built up and stuff like that. Uh, but I am going to use this right now um, to announce what uh, we're going to be building. Um, I saw a video this morning. I got to head on to work here in uh, um, in one minute ago. But uh, I saw this video from Lucasy. Um, and, uh, I got a great idea. I said, Hey, uh, he's, uh, uh, Lucas, he's got a really, really good, um, uh, good idea, really good concept. Um, save him some time. And since we are, uh, a good half a day behind, um, save some time on painting. So I reached up on my stash, grabbed this, uh, kit that we've had for, well, since it came out, I've had it since it came out. I'm not too sure when this came out. Uh, still sealed. Still has a factory seal on it. Um, I'm gonna try to do this with one hand because, uh, like I said, I got to. I got to run, but uh, not uh, not painting this guy will save us a ton of time, and um, I can get to decaling while my buddy Andrew gets to building, uh, building the motor. Um, and things of that, uh, things of that nature. So hopefully I don't destroy my buddy's little workbench. He's trying to do this with one hand, but I just want you all to see that it is sealed. Uh, like I said, I I do tend to work uh, till about noon, one o'clock, depending how many how many guys we have out. You get to see my ceiling for a minute. This was when the Salvino's boxes were still. Yep. Okay. I think I set the phone down and uh, shut you guys off. Um, but like I said, um, this is when the uh, Salvino's kits were still. Um, boxes were nice and tight. Uh, this is the 23 uh, Toyota Camry. Um, everything's still in bags, as you can see. Um, the new mod, um, bumper, mud flaps, windshield wiper. Um, my thing is with the Silvino kits, one thing that I have noticed, and this is more of an aqua color, um, it does look really blue on the, on the video here. Um, but one thing that I have noticed about these bodies is, um, they are very clean, but they do have some mold lines. Some of them do, not all of them. Um, they went back and fixed the roof flap, so I won't have to do the roof flap. Some of the 2000, the first ones that came out rather, didn't have this, uh, the rail. Uh, you had to put the rail on and then obviously you had to go back and repaint them. But uh, the plastic, as long as the plastic is good and I don't have any swirls, uh, I will not have to uh, uh, paint it. Um, we do have a little bit of a of a plastic heat mark back here and a little bit uh, in the middle right here as long as it's good and I don't have to uh, sand it down because then I have to polish it out before clear coating it I do like to clear coat it with uh, TS 13 before I do decals I have another black kit uh, Salvino's kit 
um, that I did that and there was a swirl on the hood and the decal did not cover it so you can see the swirl if you look for it and it's actually a, a pretty good project of mine pretty good concept now we'll have to paint um, a little bit <clears throat> uh, carbon fiber my dash that way I, it doesn't really matter what the plastic looks like uh, as long as the hood is clean we are golden and it looks uh, pretty clean no swir no swirls no swirls and then of course uh, the air cow induction and stuff uh, that gets painted black um, so a few things will be detail painted but I'll save time on having to wait for the body to dry um, and clear uh, these are the decals let's take a really quick look at them um, they come with everything um, the black sheet um, the black sheet everything everything goes together pretty good um, these decals are, are amazing I gotta go back and reiterate what everybody else is saying but uh, this FedEx and then of course uh, if you guys saw my Christmas build video for my son uh, my older son um, he built with me when he was younger but then he got interested in other things girls you know the normal stuff and then he stopped building now he's about to be married in uh, October um, so I give him a, a good 10-15 uh, years of being married and he'll pick the hobby back up um, so everything's in bags I'm putting everything back into the kit um, I'll post this video while I'm while I'm driving to my job. Uh, I do have a pretty good Wi-Fi uh, on my truck. I just wanted to throw in our two cents, um, and there it is. Um, like I said, um, I'll get on the decaling part. Well, actually, clearing part, cleaning up all these parts. So we'll put up a uh, if a. Uh, update video sometime later today did get a late start but uh, got a great night's sleep um, not having to paint it will save us a, a bunch of time um, hopefully Andrew doesn't get distracted between this guy and this guy or he's in the process of finishing up decaling his uh, little F100 uh, Canadian plane um, and then like I said he's excited about going to the show in, Char in Charlotte. Um, hopefully he's not too mad, too too upset about me taking over his workbench to uh, to knock out this video real fast. So uh, we'll look at you guys. Uh, we'll talk to you guys later on this afternoon. Thanks.